Ready to start your polygonal animal adventure? Hi, this is Chelsea from Digital Art Teacher, and this is part one of a two video series on creating stylized animals made of entirely polygonal shapes. All you need is the pen tool and a few handy shortcuts. Without further ado, let's get started. So you're gonna open up a new document. It'll be a letter size. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's in portrait. Then click create. Once you have your file open, you can drag and drop your image into your document. Go ahead and center your animal into your document. And if you need to resize it, just remember to hold shift as you do so. Rename the bottom layer to image, create a new layer, lock the image layer, and rename the layer shapes. Now what you're gonna do is go around the page and try to pick out similar colors in polygonal shapes. So there will be no clicking and dragging, everything is going to be clicking on anchor points. You'll want to make sure that you don't have a fill and you want to have a stroke. I'm going to leave mine black, but if your animal is a black animal, then you may want to change it to a color that will be easy and stands out. When you click on a new point, you're going to need to hold down shift, which will give you a star on the edge of your cursor. Make sure that when you connect your polygons together, you complete it by clicking on the first point that you made when you were drawing your polygon. Every polygon must be a full shape, otherwise this technique will not work. Try to make shapes that kind of make sense with the colors that you see on your animal. And then if you do something that doesn't seem quite right, you can always back up and undo or delete the polygons that you've already drawn. Some shortcuts to remember are that you can go between P for the pen tool and V for the move tool. And then of course, don't forget to use the shift button whenever you are clicking on a previous anchor point so that you don't delete that anchor point. As you create your composition of shapes, try to be aware of how those shapes are going to work together when you are finished. This is a creative process, so take your time and think through what shapes will work best for the animal in that specific part of the animal's face or body. It might be helpful to zoom out occasionally so you can see the way that the shapes are working together as a whole. As I redo this ear, I was thinking about how the hair is kind of going inward with the lighter hairs and then you have the darker colored hairs around the outside. So I was trying to be aware of that as I was going along, which made these shapes a little bit more oddly shaped than a traditional triangle or four-sided shape. It is entirely up to you how big you make your shapes. The more shapes you have, the more detail you'll get, but of course, then it'll be more time both in creating the shapes and in coloring those shapes later. Remember that you need to make sure to click on every point. So in between these two points here where you have the tip of that polygonal shape, you'll need to have another point there. So even though it looks like it might be a straight line, you've got that extra point. 
So you need to make sure that you click on that anchor point. Otherwise you'll have some weird shapes overtaking other shapes when you're doing your color blocking. Because the eyes are so different from the rest of the fox's body colors and shapes, I decided to go ahead and save the eyes until last. You may have to make some creative choices as to where to place your polygonal shapes because the eyes are a little bit more intricate than the rest of the body. 
likely these shapes will be quite a bit smaller than the shapes that you've created so far so that you can get some definition in the eyes colors and shapes when you are creating your smaller shapes in the eyes you need to make sure that you get your points to line up directly on a point or on a path this will ensure that all of the different shapes will line up when you are doing your coloring. And so you will probably want to zoom in pretty close to be able to see these intricate lines and points. That concludes the first of two video tutorials on creating polygonal animals. Before moving to the next video, ensure that you have all the polygonal shapes finished.